Hello, welcome to The Long Road. My name is Chris Roberts, your host. Today we're going to talk about um, a really tough subject. We're talking about cancer and we're going to talk about the people who decided to um, make a stand, make a point about cancer. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to see a little bit about As Bald is Beautiful. We've recently seen some of the shows about the fundraising, um, Bald is Beautiful, to raise money for the people undergoing chemo and, and radiation treatment down at the Cheshire Medical Center at the Kingsbury Center. And so somehow I got myself caught up. I was going to film it, but somehow I must have said the wrong thing and, say, and they agreed that I was going to shave my head. I wasn't planning on it, but because they thought it was, and I said, okay, I made the commitment and I shaved my head, and okay, hope you don't like the shine, but it's a little bald. <clears throat> it's a little bit different. I've had my hair um, cut short, but not this short. I didn't realize I had a big birthmark on the um, side of my head, so got to get used to it. A little vain, but you know, got to get used to it. But not stop talking about me. What you're going to see on some of the people that um, shaved their head for, um, they did it for loved ones, they've done it for family and friends who have passed as a result of cancer. You're going to see some really courageous um, people out there. You're going to see two young girls, some, one who had, hadn't cut her hair in about five years, shave it all off for a purpose. And that's a, that takes a, a lot of courage to be able to shave your head off and then go to school on Monday without anything. Such a traumatic um, change. And so I'll let you know up front that um, some of these stories will be a little moving. A couple of times I had to turn my head so it didn't look like I was shedding some tears. But some of the nurses the same way. But these people, there's something to be proud of. They stood up, they lost their hair, and they, made, uh, they did it for a good cause. And so there's still time to donate if you want to. Just go to the website, is bald is beautifulorg and you have up into the 20th. Next week we'll come and have a show and we'll wrap it up and we'll see how successful the Bald is Beautiful campaign was. Well, thank you and hope my hair doesn't blind you or my lack of hair. And thank you and enjoy the show. Comes off quicker than it goes back, huh? Yeah. <laughs> I guess I can put on a pie trot. I'll, I, I'll pay back. I'll let you film in. Another benefit, my grandson, we went and picked him up from the daycare yesterday, he had a tick in his head. Oh, oh so now you don't, he has a blonde, dirty blonde hand, he says, is that dirt or is that a tick? And we went, look, it was a tick. So now we don't have to worry about that. <laughs> no. Can you see if I can do it? Yeah. <laughs> 
Is your first time getting your hair shaved? Yes. Look at me first twice. time ever. No, I'm not. <laughs> okay, good. I'm here, I said, click oh. your baby. Oh. You've got this, you lose, so you're not so nervous anymore. Good. Right over to the other side. That probably wouldn't have been a good thing to tell the first person you were cutting her. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. Well, she does a better job than the Marine Corps does. <laughs> oh, that's good. That means I look good then. <clears throat> my husband shaves his head, and my boys cut their hair done, so we're all going to match. He's ready for you. Yeah, okay, so you need this. Woohoo, Jack! <laughs> Where you go, buddy? Go sit in your chair. You look like your father. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> Almost. He's a little less hair. Yeah, but he's doing it by choice. Bunch of us don't have choice. Said nobody would pay me to shave. Good, congratulations. What was it? You wanted over 500, right? A thousand? You get over a thousand this year? Thousand one hundred fifty-five. You're outshining all us, huh? So people go. Yeah. People go to your website and donate, or write checks, or what? <coughs> you think? We don't have to worry about getting sunburned, do we? Mm. Not today. It might be a little sunny this afternoon, huh? <laughs> do, do you after you, do you put anything on your head? What do you put on your head? He has a bandana from last year. We gotta find. Because when I was in the Marine Corps, we never put anything on the head, and we all got these sunburns. You could always tell us because we had this big round red circle on our heads. Number twenty-two. I'm number twenty-two. You know, I'm going to have to follow your bravery and get it all cut. I know you had a longer head. I didn't shave for like, I didn't cut my hair for like four or five days, four or five weeks. Now I feel like a tennis ball. So. You know what? You didn't shave yours. I didn't. Cut yours. I was going to be married. Yeah, he had it long last time he was on TV. Yeah, but you didn't cut it since last year. Okay. So we get everybody's name on there now? Here. Yeah. That's an awful lot of head to lose at once. <laughs> Did it take long to make the decision or thirty seconds? Make I the him. Yeah. I texted him and said, How would you feel about my so make the decision and don't go back, right? <laughs> and so that will be used to make um, wigs for cancer patients. Yes. That's why I do the same thing with mine because it's going bald on the top. Yeah, right? What's the difference? <laughs> yeah. 
I've had to let mine grow for about five weeks just so I can have something to cut off. How long did it take you to grow your hair that long? A long time. <laughs> <laughs> now we don't need any secrets. Not a red head. Yeah, but when you're yeah. bald, you don't have any roots. <laughs> Facebook all the time, every day, all the time. Well, Pat, oh, Patrick sort of started when he, he was the community health stuff. He was always posting, and then and then he just sort of continued. Yeah. They'll grow back quick. Yeah. Oh, too quickly. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, she's going to be Trust me, I was torn about doing it again this year, but what comes back now? What comes Do you back have any, soon? what notable, like, women are coming in at the clinic? No notable. <laughs> There's no notable. It's like Gaga. I, don't know. I mean, do we have any? Oh, that she's not. Oh, that'll be. I'll come next year and I'll bring my own hairdresser and I'll have yeah. There you go. Very good. That looks great. Very nice. Nice low maintenance hair. It's wonderful. That's the part I love about it. I didn't know that was our Is it? Okay. Our Looks like he's trying to decide if this was a good decision or not. <laughs> I think the hair doesn't mind. He's got the poison ivy. Yeah. Yeah. No, I don't think it's Metallica, but it's something. Almost like Cinderella. My home. <laughs> I'm, going, I'm like that brings back my yeah, my not. 80s uh, <laughs> rock and roll. I, I like the more. I wasn't a rock girl. I was. I was. You know, the Pesh mode. <laughs> you, were, you did. I was really into Prince. Oh, I love Prince. I was sat in the fourth row at Whistler. I sat in the fourth row and drove over. I saw you had painted. Alright, yeah. <laughs> Great job. You know my regular small ice cream. Question for you. What's that? Since we've seen you do your long locks, which you're gonna have people who have cancer, you're gonna make it into a wig. Well, we never found out what your name was and why you were doing it. Donna Olmsted. Lost my mom um, last August to cancer. Sorry about that. Well, it's, um, it's a learning experience and to give back because this is where she got treatment and let's get back. Congratulations, and I really appreciate it, and a lot of other people are going to appreciate what Absolutely. you did. Thank you. She doesn't even check to BBMs. You're Chris, right? I'm Chris. Yeah, yeah. You're, uh, let me see if I can get this right. You're on the one of the boards of sorts, right? You're one of the... Well, uh, <clears throat> keen council persons. Is that what it is? Yeah, it was one of those. You were partly right when you said I'm one of the boards. I yeah. guess in a lot of ways I'm on all of them. Yeah, I recognize you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think about that sometimes because I live in Keene. I think about trying to get involved with stuff and <clears throat> don't really know how to approach it. Well. Oh, yeah. <clears throat> it. It's worthwhile getting involved. Yeah. And the problem is a lot of people complain. And about that's, that's it, that's what people do. I expect that they complain, complain. When the idea is really get involved, yeah. and then when you get involved, then you'll find out <clears throat> some things that you have to do. And you know, we may complain about um, we don't want to build 14 million dollars for um, clean water and sewage. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> you go, well, yeah, no, I, I don't want to do it. But, like, but all of a sudden, as soon as people get sick because they have bad water or sewage is backing up. They go, why didn't you do it? Why didn't you do yeah, it? Yeah, why didn't you take care of this? Were you waiting for someone? I, uh, 
It's, for example, one of the things people complain about the water and sewer bill. For years and years, they never wanted to replace the pipes and stuff. Then all of a sudden, you had to do it all at once. It's got to be done. You know, like you know in business, if you think a vehicle is going to last 10 years, you stop planning every year. Yeah, you put money aside every year. You put year money so you aside, it, yeah. or you do repairs every year, so you, all of a sudden, you're not whim. But that's part of getting involved and learning it and letting people know about it. Yeah. It's part of it's educating people. Yeah. Well, you're right on it. My head's getting cold. It is. It's time to get, you get a little shine on it. Well, that's why they do it this spring and not in October. Yeah, I, I can feel the cold on my head. I'm going to have to go home and get a sock hat out. So, since you know my name, what is your name? My name's Rob. Rob Calkins. I, uh... I work for Bad Knock Radio Group, I sell radio ads, and uh, I also work for R.H. Stacks and Realtors. I've had my broker's license for 10 years. So, so I, uh, you're well-rounded. You could bring a lot to the... Yeah, I know what's going on in the area. I yep. try to. You know? <laughs> I live over uh, 33 East Diane Drive, just right up the road from here. So, uh, yeah. It's nice, to, uh, it's nice to own a house in Keene so close. I can get everywhere I gotta go, you know? I own one on Grove Street, and it's easy to walk. I ride my bike almost any place. Yeah, I'm starting to ride my bike places because it's. I figure it's actually faster to ride my bike down to the store than it is to. Oh, it is. I can, <clears throat> I can tell you when we go at school board meetings, I can ride from Grove Street up to the high school quicker than I can drive. Yeah. And I'm right around the corner from you. <laughs> I'm on South Lincoln. Oh, South Lincoln, yeah. Well, I'm going to go over and take a picture of. This guy with his son. Yeah, and so, thank you for showing up. Good to talk to you. And pretty soon I'll be like you. Nice. Yeah. Oh, there it goes. That's silly, huh? Buzz, buzz, buzz. Seems like he was a little scared at first, but he seems to be enjoying it now. Yeah. <laughs> He's gotten used to it. Look at that now. What's that guy doing? What's well, last, year he, last year he sat on my lap for about two seconds. <laughs> so this is your second, third time? Third. Third, yeah. However it's been going on. I thought it was four years, actually. No, it's three. But everybody's been telling me it's three. <laughs> One of those time flies when you're having fun. Well, your hair grows back pretty quick for you to you. Yeah. This, this is my what, fourth haircut. <laughs> Yeah, he'll pick it all summer, <laughs> and then in the winter let it go. Yeah, I keep it May through October, because, you know, the unfortunate people that uh, that this is for don't have a choice of when their hair grows back, you know? So I just keep it all summer. So do you have someone with cancer in your family? Or yeah. you just do it? Yeah, my father. My father died from cancer. My mother had cancer. And her mother had cancer, and a, per a good friend just this week was diagnosed with liver cancer. Yep. And uh, this past October, um, uh, older gentleman that taught me how to swim when I was young just died of bone marrow cancer. So that's pretty painful. That type of cancer. Yeah, yeah. He was in his uh, late 70s. So. And, and, and times would change because I knew when I was growing up, if someone said someone had cancer, everybody wanted to get away from him as if they had the plague. And yeah. Even family members thought, well, oh, cancer's contagious, so I don't want to. Yeah, yeah. Really? You know, and, it yeah. Is, and it's the time to embrace, really. Yeah. Um, because, I mean, I can, it's so unfortunate. You know, like you said, that, that separation emotion, yeah. I'm sure, is, for the individual is very easy. Yeah. Okay. So whatever you like, it's ideal. The, um, I had cancer twice, and I remember it's when the second time when the doctor came in and says, well, you know what, you have prostate cancer, and you have a six, and we've got to make a decision, you got to do something in the next 30 days. Yeah. <clears throat> it was September 11, 2006. It was on the phone, and it's kind of like, it just blazes and embeds right on your mind, and it doesn't... Yeah, I'm sure. And so, you've got some of the, they do it all the time, but they don't realize every time someone gets cancer, it's personal. Exactly. It's personal oh, and, and, yeah. and shocking. Oh, oh my yeah. God, yeah. Yes. Oh, my God, yeah. Oh, thank you. Where's Daddy's hair? Look at Grandma. 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 Look at
Chris looking at you. Yeah. It's um. Daddy's hair is on the floor. You're so, right. Were you just speaking of yourself? Sorry. Yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah, so, um, so how are you no. now? <laughs> it's getting there. I still got a little okay. bit, but it's still. Hopefully it'll last. I won't you have look to pretty do it. healthy. I try my best. Yeah. Keep the positive attitude. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. definitely. Let me take Thank a picture. You, you know. Let me take a picture of your family. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. And, and what will happen is I'm going to have a DVD. So just see Frank, oh, nice. and you can come in and pick up the DVD. Oh, cool. Nice. Thank you. And so, like we said, this was, yep. you, you said, this was your third time. Yeah. You, you didn't scare your son this time. No. And can we? It. Can you introduce your lovely family? This is Brandy, my yep. fiance. This is Grace. She's 15 months no. old, and this is Samuel. He's two and a half years old. And wants to get down. Yeah. Well, thank you for your time and generosity. Yeah, thank, thank you, you very okay. much. Yep. Sure. Yeah. One more, Samuel. One more. Is this your first time? Yeah. <laughs> I feel like I closed my eyes, so hopefully... A little apprehension? <laughs> Well, the people who get it will be really appreciative. Well, leave some of it. Before people would have cancer, or if they lose chemo and lose their head, they would just stay in the house, be afraid to to go outside. And if you survive, you're not supposed to survive and die by being afraid to to live a life. I remember my dad's twin sister, my aunt, sitting at our kitchen table after I think her second bout with breast cancer and trying to put her wig on and it wouldn't go on right. And I will never forget it. I was just a little kid. She was just started crying. Her wig wouldn't go on right, and it was I'll never forget that. And a lot of women now, they're braver. They put the bandana on and saying, "Hey." Just because I had breast cancer or whatever, it doesn't define me. It's not going to make me less of a person. He'll grow back, right? But it doesn't matter, we're still giving up a little bit and that's what counts. It grows on my face, but not Chocolate donuts helping yeah. out a lot, huh? As long as she's attached to me. Um, I had a carrier for both of mine for a while, but my second was 10 pounds to start. Oh, you last broke time. it. Can I have some? Yeah. <laughs> You can give up the hair, but I'm not giving up my donut. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, actually, speaking of years past and, and such, years past, I hadn't had a uh, a goal as far as, as far as to raise. And this year, I set it. For, I set it, and I and I I exceeded it. So what was your goal? Four hundred. The last year was three fifty. So I said, ah, 400, you know, and I was at 460, and I still have two that are out. Great. So I'm excited about that one. Because one we, one we forgot to pick up this morning. <laughs> you might have been busy. Because dancing with the ladies, coming here, the yeah. <laughs> two little ones. I don't know why I forgot. It's okay, I just want to get you one. Now, come on, you're out there saying you're dancing with the ladies, you're here with your fiance. 
She's one of the ladies you were dancing with, right? Oh, of course we were dancing. <laughs> of course. <laughs> but up at Stonewall there. Oh. Mm. Did that all today? <clears throat> yeah, this morning. Exactly. Okay. That might be why you forgot something. What did you do? Start at 5 a.m. dancing? Uh, it's about 7, 7.30. Waffles in the car. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> 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 it's easy to donate money. It's much tougher to stand up and, and do it. <laughs> yeah. Oh, all right. Yeah, as soon as these girls are. They're much braver than I am. Did it take you to grow that hair? Probably like five years. Yeah. <laughs> oh, it is. Well, I can tell you, the guys who go to Paris Island, they never smile. They're scared when they get in that table. Care. <laughs> Checking out. Okay. <laughs> Does she still have time to change her mind? <laughs> 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 
one side. <laughs> It's pretty thick here. Yeah. So, what is your name? My name's Killer. So, did it didn't take you long to make the decision? We wanted to do it last year, but we didn't do the registration. So, we've waiting all year. Waiting all year? Is this your first time? Too? Yeah, it has to be your first time with all that hair. Yeah. <laughs> So you wanted to do this last year, but you waited? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Too many people can wait a whole year to get the head <laughs> shaved. <laughs> well, she asked me in like April last year. So, Are you girls ready? Good thing there's no physical pain in getting your hair cut. <laughs> At least when Demi Moore did it in G.I. Jane, she got a couple million dollars for it, right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Just think all the time you'll save in the morning. what the locks of love is because we had two two 14 year old girls over there donate some really good hair yeah so locks of love is an organization um, that donates that collects donated hair to create wigs for children who aren't they either have something called alopecia where they just don't grow hair um, it's not typically for people, kids that are going through chemotherapy because their hair grows back. Um, they donate, they make real hair wigs for kids that don't have their own hair. And um, so all of the donations get sent down to Locks of Love who are located in Florida. And they collect the hair and send it to Australia actually where they create the wigs. And anybody that has more than 10 inches of hair can donate it as long as it hasn't been bleached. And um, for Locks of Love, if, it's, if they get hair donations that are gray hair or hair that's shorter than 10 inches, then they sell it to help offset the cost of making the wigs, because making a wig costs about $1,000. What's the difference between bleach and dyed hair? Um, certain colored hair has bleach in it, um, like for when you're getting your hair turned 
going blonde. blonde. Yeah. <laughs> Hydrogen peroxide. Yeah. Um, and then hair that doesn't have blonde in it. I think you have the MJD girls right next to me. Um, if you don't have blonde hair, then it's not necessarily have bleach in it. So they accept colored hair, dyed hair, but it's just not... A lot, so bleach is a lot harsher on the, on the hair. There was a couple of women earlier that says, I like to donate it, but it's it's dyed. Right. But if it's, if it's dyed, dyed, it's actually okay as long as it's not bleached dyed. If it is bleached dyed, then right. And um, the, maybe the, the other misconception was, so this is, like you said earlier, this is for children. This isn't being sold to it, adults, the hair. No, no, it's just the locks of love. There's also other groups that Pantene has, a, a, they make wigs too for, I'm not sure who they make the wigs for, it might be for a broader yeah. um, group of people, but they actually accept hair that's eight inches or longer. So if we have um, shorter hair, like I think mine might not quite have been 10 inches. <laughs> this isn't my daughter, by the way. I have more, but she's not one of them, but she is just precious. <laughs> does one the same way. Um, just you can donate shorter hair. Okay. We're all ready for mine? Yeah, this you're dog. ready to go. Is this your first time doing it? No, my second time. <laughs> no, it was, did you do it last year or the yeah, year before? Last year, yes. Grew back it's pretty quick. Uh, actually, I've, I've had it cut five times since I did it last year. It came back thicker and it came back um, a lot stronger. It's really the yeah. best thing probably you can get my hair because it was like virgin hair. So I I took it, you know, all the way back again. So I didn't have it. It, it was such a feeling of freedom. Like when I woke up the next day it was like I am not my hair. Yeah. Oh yeah. But you know, <clears throat> when you're saying you're not your hair, that doesn't very, do very good for American advertisers. They want to convince you <laughs> you are your hair. Yeah, right. <laughs> did, did you hold the balls over there? No. No? Uh -oh. Did you get a before picture? No. Oh, okay, well, we'll take one right now. <clears throat> Go ahead. I'm sorry. Should have checked. Go ahead, and then we'll get an after picture. Okay. okay. <laughs> Is well, I was right? sitting outside. Yep. Well, what I realized was that, you know, there's so much time spent. I have naturally curly hair, so I don't spend very much time like with rollers and heat things and all that kind of jazz. Anyway, but um, what I realized is there's so much time spent on all these gadgets trying to wear all these things for your hair. It's, like, it's a huge business. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> And I just I loved it this way. In fact, I really wanted to ke keep it um, this way for, for a long time. So I had it cut, but I had it cut very short each time I had it cut. I never let it go beyond basically two inches because I always wear my hair short anyway, and it's easier. It's spikier, and, and it was like virgin hair. It was really soft. It's never had you know product on it. It never been dyed. You know, all that stuff. We gotta be like us guys. Like us guys can be just as vain as, oh, as women. Oh, I know, absolutely. <laughs> but we can be oh, cowards no. too. Women, women do not have the market on vain. Absolutely. I've been going bald on the top, and I says, "Well, do I want to go bald or not?" And I go, "Ah, oh, no, I don't want to do that." But then this gives an opportunity. Says, "Okay, I'll do this. Yeah, I'll exactly. go bald if it looks good. I'll keep it. I can keep it." Yep. But if people go and say, why'd you go bald? I can say, well, I did this for a cause. Exactly. <laughs> so I'm taking the easy way out to exactly. the test. Exactly, you get to see what it's like. Absolutely. It's the easy way to do it. Yeah. I'm a Mohs cancer survivor, which Mohs cancer is cancer of the face. Because I lived in South Florida for 30 years. I'm a redhead. <laughs> I was a redhead. Yep. So I have very, very clear skin. I'm the worst person to have ever lived in South Florida. Mm. You get so much sun just going to your car back and forth, never mind laying on the beach.
sure I never do. Now, are you shaving it afterwards? Yes, So, I've had nine different procedures done in the last year. It's all from being in South Florida. You know, the sun there was extreme. So, um, I do it to also show solidarity with women that have had. I didn't have to have chemotherapy, I had to have other kinds of um, therapies done. Everybody said to me, well, you wear hats, don't you? No, I don't. I said it, I did it, I did it, so people will think when they see me, oh, she had to have radiation because of this or that, you know, so to show solidarity with the women who did have to have that done. You know? so. The, um, <clears throat> I've, had, I've had cancer twice, so I'm here, and, um, <clears throat> I was, unfortunately, I got thymus cancer, one of the rare, rare people, yeah. and then um, I had stage three prostate cancer real early, wow. and so I was supposed to get radiation, but the numbers are, are good, so we're putting it off as long as possible, and like I was saying earlier before, when I was growing up, if someone said they had cancer, even family members used yes. to say, don't even come near me. People know so little about it. And um, no, you don't pay much attention until you get the the, the notification. Absolutely. And then it is. It's kind of like a bomb going off, and yeah. you want someone to talk to, but no one really wants to, like, to talk to you because absolutely. there's something wrong with you. Exactly. It's ridiculous. All right, my so, you're all set. You're gonna keep this. It's red, so. You can just ask me a few questions. Why I'm doing it, or why I'm here. Why, why are you doing it, Chris Roberts? Why am I doing it? Yeah. Because Frank why tricked me it? into it. <laughs> Frank asked me if I could um, tape it for him. And yeah. then I said I'd tape it for him. And all of a sudden, someone started saying um, I was going to get my head shaved. And it just added on and added on. It was like, Couldn't say no. Yeah, how could I, how could I get out of it? You're very... What's that? I couldn't get it to focus. Don't touch the please. So what are you holding up now, Chris? The word is. What is is? What is is me? Did you hold up the bald sign initially? Excuse me? Did you hold yeah, up the bald sign for your before picture? Not the bald sign. Oh, did, I hit the before, right? Yeah. yeah. I hit the before over there. Yeah. Yeah, how's it going? So tell me, why why are you having your head shaved? Well, I've had cancer twice. And um, we were talking before about the how important it is to de-stress. People go to me and say, well, you, you look really good, you look really healthy, and if I tell them I had cancer twice, they, they don't know how you can. But part of it is when I've been able to de-stress and keep it as low as possible. And like we were talking before, not having to worry about paying your mortgage or the job, where you have a lot of people that you help. They can't pay the gas, or they can't pay the electricity, or they're worrying about taking care of their family. The co-pays. The co, -pays. Idea, the co -pays, yeah. where the idea is, if, you can't, if you're having stress, you can't get well. The idea is people need to be able to get selfish and take care of themselves so they can take care of their families later on. And I think you guys do a really great job. You're, help de-stressing a lot of people in these lives. Well, we try, but having the, the help of people donating all this money, thanks to everybody having their heads shaved, makes a big difference in what we can do to help. Especially the um, teenage girls that have given up that long hair. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're the ones that are most courageous because they're going to go to school one day with nothing. That's right. <laughs> I've been in the real car. I've been pretty, I haven't been bald, but I've had my hair. And it's really no big deal, and, and on guys it's cool, and so we're not really, cool. <laughs> we're not taking a big risk. Those no, I think they're going to look pretty darn good. And, uh, you know, like those bills, it's easy, like it's on smart people, it's easy to donate 100 or $150, you can get a tax right off and feel good, mm -hmm. but those girls are standing up and, and doing something. Yeah. So, those are the ones that should be graduated. Well, you know, though, 
I think it takes a whole, yeah, it, it takes, takes a village. Yeah. <laughs> you know? The money counts. The money, the money counts. counts that's, the money's what's going to ease the burden. Yep. And the people doing the raising the money is yep. what's going to get bring the money in that's and make right. a big statement. Quite, yeah. They want to donate $100. Yeah. More than willing to that's take it. That's right. So, yeah. if people see this um, TV show and they still want to donate, they can donate, right? Absolutely, yep. The website will be up and any if they want to sponsor certain participants like Chris Roberts or Heather Boyd, <laughs> then they can go to www.bald-is-beautiful.org and um, you can make a general donation or you can sponsor a participant and any money that gets donated before May 20th will go to count towards how much each individual participant is raised. And one other quick thing before I go to get my whatever little hair left to shave. What about all the people who are cutting the hair, the ones who are in purple, who are they? This is the crew from MJD <laughs> um, who have donated their time. All the girls from MJD have donated their time here. Um, and there's Mary Jane right here <laughs> to doing all of the shaving and the bicking that you see down here. And. Uh, I'm very grateful for that. They've done this for the past three years. In the world of acronyms, what is MJD? People MJD don't know. stands for Mary Jane Duty. <laughs> Who is the owner of MJD? Located there you go. on, on West Street, 341 West right Street. Right by Alma Lansons, right? Yeah, I want to ask you something. Right. The old gas station okay. that used to be yes. there. Yes. And over here, we have Dr. Rapp. <laughs> who has done a beautiful job it came coloring out pretty his well. hair. <laughs> we it was a rush in. job. Rush. How are you doing? Good. 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 Nice to do it. Beautiful, Dr. Rath. <laughs> Touch of pink. Let's yeah. see if we can get a close up of that. I don't know if it'll show up. I know. But it does look lovely. <laughs> the MJ was saying next year she should, we should bleach my hair first so uh -huh. then the color will take better. Yes. Okay, so are you getting it shaved over there yeah. after? Okay. The whole shebang. I'm hoping, my, hoping my scalp is not this color. <laughs> it might be. Yeah, I know. It it might be. Be. <laughs> we'll find out in a second. So, Heather, I want to buy one of the shirts. For. Buy one of these shirts? Yeah. Okay. It's part of a donation. What you have to do okay. is just, just slip and take the beard off, too. Or yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I think feel a lot better having yeah, the beard Yeah, I'm just going to go with the beard. <laughs> my wife won't let me in. <laughs> She's fine with you bald though, huh? She what? She's fine with you not having any hair on your oh, head? yeah. But she actually prefers the beard, so it's good because I don't like the shape. It's a lot easier. Well, this does take care of haircuts for a couple months. Oh, really? Yeah. Well, what I usually do is, I, but I'm not going to keep it shaved, I don't think. <laughs> but I usually do this, and then in about 10 days, I'll show up and have MJ take it off again, or maybe two weeks or something, so I get a little extension. <laughs> You gonna let us paint on it afterwards? Maybe, <laughs> if it raises money. <laughs> but you know what? But at least he's not one of those gangster guys with the beard, the ball head, and a big ponytail going yeah. down the back. Yeah, the back. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't had that request yet. So yeah. I'm just thinking. Done a few more. I don't think it'll work. <laughs> Get one of those fake hats with the ponytail. Yeah. <laughs> There is a, there is a, uh, This is for Bald, to, we're going to try and get our yeah, uh, picture on, on yeah. Good Morning America. They have oh, really? life in three nice. words. Yeah, it's great. So if you have everybody that has their picture taken, we're going to try and do a, put it together. Yeah, put it together yeah, so there's a whole idea. bunch of Bald's yeah. is. I think it's one of those probably what were you thinking? <laughs> <laughs> no, I didn't mind it. I, I did it for the first time. Do you, do you ever go bald or? No. As a matter of fact, I, I don't. 20 plus years in the Marine Corps, I've had it cut yeah. like this a lot. Right, right. I've never Not gone bald. Yeah. And, um, <laughs> matter of fact, I haven't had a haircut in like five weeks just so I could have something, have something to cut yeah, off. Yeah. So, what I was thinking, there's a bunch of people who work here who are pretty bald or balding on their own. So, I was thinking we set up something that they pay to get like the hair re implanted <laughs> on their scalp. You know? That would be me. That would be me. Yeah. 
Yeah. Oh, no. Matt Gilton and Chris yeah, Baraka, Matt, I was yeah. talking to those guys yesterday about the hair transplant thing. It, it is tough, you know, thank you, for Chris, for, for waiting and growing something, because it's tough for them to have them shaving when nothing's there. You know, I'm not sure that that's fair. I mean, but again, it's I great for cleaning yeah. it out. But it's, you know, and I was telling the lady how the vein guys can get it was because if my hair would grow after about a week, you'd see all the white. So it's like, uh, hey, I would, I would cut it down yeah. every week, and people say, oh, that's great. I'll have to see what happens with me, because my hair still has been kind of darker, and my beard is white. <laughs> so I'm waiting for when, you know, I do this, and the hair comes back white. Has the beard changed much in the last year or two? No. You, it's been that way. For it's been that way, for a while, but it's whiter. I mean, the beard is whiter than the hair in general. Well, when you did this the last time, I was trying to remember, but I know you've had that sophisticated look for I think a while. So. It makes you Thank look a little you, more like a penguin. <laughs> yeah, that's my goal. Yeah. I mean, I can't. I can go three months trying to grow a mustache. Right, it looks yeah. like a chocolate. I've well, a brownie, nothing grows. I've had, I've had kind of beard and mustache now for 41 years, since I was 18. And, uh, yes. wow. I've, I've probably taken them off six times in 40-ish years. And haven't lasted long without them. The longest I went, I tried about six weeks trying to grow, and all it was was spot, bald right, spots yeah, here, yeah. and came in all different colors. That's the way with me. I, I realized a long time ago. Yeah, Great. That was to okay, we're on to the next part of Chris's adventure today. The battery, your battery's actually almost low, too. No, look at my battery. Oh, well, then I don't know what that is. You're going to smell really good. Yeah, I can smell it right now. Yeah. I think Paul Mitchell, was it Paul Mitchell or somebody, did somebody donate the shaving cream? Yeah. So it's going to smell awesome. Mm. I almost um, chickened out and ate a bunch of malt and milk balls because I'm allergic to them and they opened all oh, my no. all saws on my head, so I figured that'd be a good excuse, but... My wife wouldn't let me go. She wouldn't let you back out, <laughs> yeah. huh? Oh. My kids really didn't want me to do it this morning, but I've already raised twelve hundred dollars, so I, yeah. it was too late to back out. So while we're here, I have to say hello to Taylor, Taylor's youngest granddaughter. She always says I don't say hello to her, so I'm saying hello. And my other granddaughter, Zoe, who doesn't want to see me, she says, I don't like ball. I said, well, you know, I said, I, I thought I'd wear a hat. Yeah. And hopefully, when she sees you, because yeah. I think you're going to look just great. Yeah, hopefully she, she will. won't mind so much. <clears throat> but she's never seen me ball, so, no, kids are. Yeah. <laughs> like that little two-year-old is watching his dad get his hair cut. And trying to figure, What's going on here? Yeah. Yeah. Kids definitely have pretty strong opinions about hair. <clears throat> but I took, I had to talk to mine, you know, just saying it's more important what's on the inside than what's on the outside. Hair will grow back, but the reason we're doing it is to, to raise money to help our patients and ease their burden a little bit. And but that's good, definitely more important than hair. But the thing that you hear over and over again, mostly all the women are saying, my hair doesn't define me. I'm a person. That's my hair right. doesn't make me a, a better person. No or bad hair days. No yeah, bad hair no days. Bad hair days <laughs> no hair in the drain. <coughs> nope. No running out of shampoo. I still shampoo it. Do you? Yeah. I used soap last time because I didn't know what I was supposed to do. <laughs> I don't know if there's rules or not about what you're supposed to do when you're bald. Nope. <laughs> we should find that out, Heather. I think I'll have to Google it. Okay. I'll, I'll see you, you again next year. All right, Marie, thank you. I'll tell you one thing you never to do after you get your hair cut short is wash it with head and shoulders. Yes. <laughs> I, that's or what some, I use. Was it integrity? Some of those stuff. Oh, I, I, it's painful. <laughs> That's going to look really good, Chris. It's looking really good. Who is he? out here and take a look at all the action. Got k &E over in the corner over there. Pretty soon you'll be able to have your own TV show. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> CVS are taking all of the before and after pictures at a lull.
but they've donated their time and um, two of their staff members are here today taking the before and after pictures and they donated goodie bags to everybody that's getting their head shaved and they're giving everybody that gets their head shaved a uh, before, during and after picture that you can pick up at CVS on Monday. <coughs> Anybody who's got their head shaved today, contact Frank. What's Frank's phone number? Hoffman. Hoffman. 354-5454 and then ask for Frank Hoffman. They can get a copy. If they want a copy of the DVD of getting their head shaved, contact Frank and I'll make sure they get a, co get a copy for you. Thank you. <clears throat> the woman that did these shirts? Yeah. Um, her name was the woman who was here. Yeah, she was here. She shaved my head. Yeah. She used to work, I think, in restaurants. Um, but, but I don't know where she, she works. She works right. in Jackson. That's yours. Oh, okay. Um, Marie Paradise. Marie Paradise. Yeah. Her husband. Goes off quicker than it comes on, huh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Really gonna have a bald spot now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know. You'll know you'll have a bald spot now. It's actually been coming in pretty good. I've been asking some people why some guys' heads are so shiny like Mr. Clean. Yeah. They have to have something there. <laughs> I gotta get an earring now, right? <laughs> I don't know, at the price of gold, I don't know if we can afford it. Right. Can we be mean to him? Just leave that little patch right up on top. <laughs> It's done. <laughs> Who's the guy? Was it the? Um, I'm trying to think of the. Um, going blank on it. The um, Harry Myers, Myers plays um, that that movie. He's the. Um, the spook on James Br um, James Bond. Mike Myers, Austin, pa Austin Powers. Austin Powers. <laughs> Doc, where you got that one guy with the half and he just got the head, that little piece of hair flipped over. <laughs> so you don't mind if she leaves it that way, right? <laughs> I guess you do mind. <laughs> Is this your first time? Yeah. Well, I was told we got to wear a hat or we'll get a sunburn pretty bad. Yeah. And I think they wanted to... Make sure you pick your bag up from CNS to have sunblock. Well, I hope you enjoyed the, the show. I hope you enjoyed the, um, the people that and their stories. And if you're still thinking about donating, we, you can donate at ball-is-beautiful.org. And every, every penny will be appreciative and it stays in Keene for the people in the Keene area and the surrounding communities. And so again, hope you enjoyed the show and I'll see you out there on the long road.